It's a happy day, and God is here among us, and uh, He has been doing great things, uh, and the Lord will continue to do that as we open our hearts to Him. So can you tell someone, just open your heart to the Lord? Amen. All right, let's talk about something that's on the heart of God, something that's important to the Lord, and the message of the Lord to us today is selfish, lavish Christians in an age of hunger and great needs Learning to help others while enjoying life. This is a bit personal and it can be a bit convicting. But I assure you, and as we will see later, it is the Word of God. It is the heart of Jesus. It's the concern of the Lord. And so let's talk about it because we want to be good followers of Jesus. Amen? Gusto natin gawin ang kalooban ni Lord. And so by the grace of God, let's learn what Jesus actually said and taught. So many people in the world today are hungry, sick, and dying without a relationship with Christ. Napakaraming mga tao po every day, dying without the Lord, suffering away from God. And there are needs here and there and people just really lacking this and that. We live in a very uh, desperate world in many, many real ways. Uh, tr- there are three realities in the world that are incompatible. This is from Ronald Sider. And uh, I-, I want us to think about them. Okay, number one, the very tragic state of hunger and needs in the world. Okay, grabi po ang hunger and needs in the world. Now, through the, through the years, it's been, at least officially speaking, according to the governments of the world, uh, getting better and getting better and getting better. However, when the pandemic struck, lockdowns, restrictions, Tapos, the ng Ukraine war, the fuel prices went up, the prices of goods went up. So, the figures have been rising fast and returning on the way to returning to the former level. So, I don't have uh, the actual uh, figures that I feel are really accurate. So, these are a bit old figures. But, bumabalik na ulit doon ang level ng desperation in the world. Around 1 billion people in the world are hungry or starving. They live on less than a dollar, one US dollar a day. About 1.6 billion are poor and live on two dollars a day. Every day, some 30,000 people die of starvation and diseases that medicine knows how to prevent. Preventable diseases, in short. Some 1.1 billion people in developing countries have inadequate access to water and 2.6 billion lack basic sanitation. Nearly a billion people enter the 21st century unable to read or write or sign their names. In short, illiterate po sila or uneducated. And many of us are so asleep in our comfort, so uh, happy that we're okay, that we are not really looking and thinking in terms of the desperate need in our world. So right now, I want us to watch a two-minute video uh, that would just help us to grasp ano ba talaga yung nangyayari sa ating mundo beyond what we would see along the street na may mga beggar and so on. Beyond those things, ano ba talaga ang reality? So let's watch this two-minute video and hopefully our eyes will be opened as we carry on this talk and as we carry on learning the Word of God. So let's play the video.
So yun po ang sitwasyon natin. In fact, at some statistics years ago, yung pet food lang gasto ng mga tao sa mundo, sobra-sobra na compared sa lahat ng ginagasto for water, for you know housing and so on, para sa mga pagkain, para sa mga mahihirap ng mundo. Yung ice cream consumption lang ng mundo, mas malaki pa sa lahat ng ginagastos para tulungan ng mga mahirap sa mundo. Yung perfume expenses lang ng mga tao, mas mahal pa. We live in a very, very desperate world. Napaka-seryoso po ng sitwasyon. The other uh, incompatible uh, uh, reality is God's concern for the poor. And in- incompatible in the sense that when we combine the three, we realize that they should not be happening together. But anyway, the Bible contains hundreds of verses that express God's concern for the poor, needy, the oppressed, and the like. And we'll talk about them later on. Number three is the very low and even shrinking giving of Bible-believing Christians. Alam niyo po, lumiliit at lumiliit po ang giving ng mga Christians in, around the world. Okay, parang, parang feeling natin, eh, marami rin akong kailangan eh. Uh, marami rin akong eh, mga needs. Why do I have to give that much? Why do I have to give 10% or whatever? Why do I have to give extra? So it can be said in truth that the people, God's people, tip instead of tithe. Yan yun ang mga barya-barya ba, binibigay natin, etc. Wala akong statistics sa Pilipinas, but ang Pilipinas at Amerika, same mindset, same culture, same media, ang ating pinapanood, pinapakinggan. In the US, for example, in 1969, ang average financial giving ng Bible-believing Christians, 3.1%. By 2011, 2.6% na. I don't have information, I mean, in comparison with this uh, line of studies, pero I, I look at figures na mababa talaga. And I think it's obvious uh, from, from what happened, uh, from, you know, what's happened around the world na lumiliit, lumiliit po. And so, masyadong maraming need. Gusto ni Lord tulungan, pero hindi naman tayo nagbibigay. So, walang masyadong uh, uh, help na, na, na umaabot sa mga nangangailangan. Okay? Now, again, we're not talking here about giving away all your money. Sabi nga natin, enjoying life, but helping others as well. Kung baga, hindi lang tayo ang bless, yung iba bless then. The Bible gives the principle from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Those who have much, do not have too much. Those who have little, do not have too little. Katunda ka sila kwarta, di po sobra-sobra, grabe na po, no? Katungwa sila yung kwarta, di po sobra, ka, 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 kulang na, mamatay na lang sila, kay halos wala yung sila yung makaon. Good, healthy food. So let's talk about this message from the Spirit of God, from the Scriptures, so that we who claim to be followers of Christ can uh, make the needed adjustments sa ating mga buhay, learning to help others while enjoying life. Okay, please, we're not saying don't travel. We're not saying don't eat out. We're not saying don't buy that car you know, that you like to buy, that phone that you like to buy. We're simply saying as you enjoy, huna huna apo ng uban. Because we are blessed to be a blessing. Reality po, the blessings of this world are for everyone to enjoy and not just us. If we're blessed, then praise God. But it's good to share our blessing with others as well. Amen. God is very concerned for the poor and needy in society and among the believers. Grabe ho ang concern ni Lord. And the Bible is so strong in this. Kaya, you may say, bakit pinag-uusapan natin yan, Pastor? What, 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 what does spirituality have to do? Diba dapat prayer ang pag-uusapan natin, evangelism, discipleship. Bakit yung bigay-bigay sa may hirap? Because it is the heart of God. Psalm 7, who executes, God executes justice for the oppressed. God gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. Galatians 2, 9 and 10, James, Cephas, or Peter, and John, those esteemed as pillars of the church, gave me, that's Paul and Barnabas, the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. They agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised, that is, to the Jews. All they asked was, you know, may taha, that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I had been eager to do all along. Sa dami ng pwedeng sabihin ni, ng mga apostoles, Peter, James, John, huwag mong kalimutan to ha. Hindi sila sabi, huwag mong kalimutan ng prayer ha. Huwag mong kalimutan ng... Sabi nila, huwag mong kalimutan tumulong sa mga mahirap. Do you get that? Of so many things that they can talk about, mission, discipleship, prayer, whatever, sabi nila, huwag mong kalimutan tumulong sa mahirap. Yan ang minimum na kailangan natin gawin. So it must be important to God. 
The early church practiced helping the poor and needy as a major thing in their lives. First uh, John 3, 17 and 18. If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, walang awa, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth. Alam niyo po, alam ko, we have, there is a part of us that wants to help. I'm, we're not doubting that. We're simply saying is, sa aktual ba? Sa aktual. We think we want to do that. We think we're doing that. But in reality, napaka-konti po. Talagang tira-tira lang ang binibigay natin. At saan lang ngayon, hindi na lang salita, pati sa gawa, mayroon ding magbago, may mag-improve. Amen. And then sabi of Romans 15, 26, for Macedonia and Achaia, those were Roman provinces of the first century, were pleased to make a contribution for the poor among the Lord's people in Jerusalem. So God's people helping those in other areas of the world uh, financially or materially. God wants us to help the poor and the needy. So ito po ay kalooban ni Lord. It's a command of God. Say command. Yun po ang kalooban ni Lord. And so today you may say, you know, why do we have to talk about it? In fact, sabi, you may think, why do we have to talk about this? Because feeling ko, hindi rin natin masyadong naturo, pero ulit-ulit sinabi ni Jesus. At ng mga apostles, kung paulit-ulit nila sinabi, tayo ilang beses natin nasabi, parang na-under-emphasize natin. So gusto natin ibalik and hopefully iangat natin ang ating practice so that God may be glorified through our obedience. Uh, Luke 10, 25 onwards, talks about a very uh, familiar story for some of us. It's the story of the Good Samaritan. Okay? So let's read. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Mahalin mo ang kapa mo, katulad ng pagmamahal mo sa sarili mo. Gusto mong kumain? Siyempre, di ba? Pinapakain mo sa sarili mo? Siyempre, di ba? Then, bigyan mo rin ng iba ng pagkain. Gusto mo may matirhang ka, may matulugan ka, comfortable, kay papano? Then do that for others as well. That's the command of God. Uh, Jesus said, you have answered correctly, verse 28. Jesus replied, do this and you will live. Okay, Jesus said, do this. Gawin mo ito, say do this. Okay? So, ngayon po, I alam ko, we have a desire. Ang problema lang, kulang yung ating application kumpara sa ating desire. Mutando, tando, tando, amen, yes, amen, amen. Pero sa aktual, dili kayo. So today, sa aktual, by the grace of God, naapoy mag-improve. Amen. Verse 29, but he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down the from Jerusalem to Jericho, then he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. Naluisha, he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law said, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Go and do likewise. Tell someone, go and do likewise. Amen? In short, gawin mo rin yung ginawa ng Good Samaritan. Alam mo, in the story, napaka-revealing yan, the religious people tend to neglect helping the poor and needy. Kasi sa atin, feeling natin, well, mas importante yung prayer. Mas importante ang mission. Mas importante mga bagay. And, and in a way, it's true. But not at the expense of other things. Hindi tayo pipili ba? Ito, gusto ko. Ito, gagawin ko. Ito, hindi. No, sabi ni Lord, lahat yan. Kasali ito. And so, may the Lord move in us and help us to do that. Alam niyo po, nung 3rd uh, century AD, merong devastating plague na nag-sweep across the ancient world. Daming parts ng mundo tinamaan. Okay? And during that time, Christians were the only ones who cared for the sick, which they did at the risk of contracting the plague themselves. So grabe yung third century. You can research that. And alam mo yung mga Christians, sila yung tumulong. Yung mga people who don't know God, uh, pagans, kanilang family members, buhay pa, tinatapon nila sa labas ng bahay para hindi sila mahawa. 
Okay? Yung mga Christians, kahit na baka mahawa sila, tinutulungan nila uh, yung mga taong nangailangan. And there are many other stories we can do, uh, talk about, but we don't have time. Martin Luther, the great German reformer, said, The Lord does not need your good works, but your neighbor does. Hindi kailangan ni Lord yung good works mo. May makakain si Lord or wala siyang kulang sa kanya. Pero yung neighbor natin, may pangailangan sila, tulungan natin sila. Romans 12, 13, share with the Lord's people who are in need, practice hospitality. To repent and follow Christ involves sharing our possessions with others who are in need. Ito po, very important. Kasi in churches we say, palag yung priest ng Good Samaritan, yung Levite. You know, I love God. I serve God. I pray. I go to church. And the Lord is saying to you, may kulang yan kung yan lang, kung neglected natin yung ibang mga bagay. So the Lord commands you and me uh, and to repent. To say, Lord, I'm sorry, I want to follow you now. Hindi na ako mabuhay para sarili ko, para sa'yo na. Means na magbibigay tayo, tutulong tayo. Luke 3, 9 to 11. The, an axe is ready to cut the trees down at their roots. Any tree that doesn't produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into a fire. The crowds asked, uh, asked John the Baptist, the preacher, what should we do? John told them, if you have two coats... Give one to someone who doesn't have any. If you have food, share it with someone else. May damit ka, ishare mo sa walang may damit. May pagkain ka, ishare mo sa taong walang pagkain. Amen? Practical po si Lord. Amen? Di ba kita practical po ta? Nga nung si Lord, dili practical, no? Practical si Lord. Tell someone, practical si Lord. Matthew 25, 41 onwards, tells uh, this uh, uh, parable from the Lord. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire that has been prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry, you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't receive me as a guest. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they too will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not give you whatever you needed? Then he, the Lord, will answer, them, I tell you the truth, just as you did not do it to for one of the least of these, you did not do it for me. And these will depart into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Most of us have a kind of a, a false assurance or a false connection ng ating works. We are not saved by works, right? Tama po yun. We are saved by grace through faith. On the other hand, if we really have repented, if we really have faith, faith will have works. And if you don't have works, parang puno na walang prutas, eh baka patay ang puno na yan. Kasi ang buhay na puno, magkakaroon ng bunga. Tinan mo katabi mo kung may bunga ba yan. Okay, dapat may bunga tayo. Amen? Di pwede salita-salita lang. Amen? Kung walang bunga, walang buhay. Amen? So, may the Lord convict us and may the Lord help us. And then Matthew 25, 41. Uh, tells us about those kinds of things that they will depart into eternal punishment. Hell po yan, okay? And then anyway, God is displeased when we refuse to help the needy when we have more than enough. Hindi po masaya si Lord. In fact, hindi si Lord talaga. God is not happy. In fact, God can be angry when ang dami nating pera, sobra-sobra, hindi tayo tabutulong sa iba. Kung ano-ano na lang ating binibili, kasi yung sabi natin, excess uh, cash, pero yung iba hindi natin tinutulungan. Luke 16, 19 through 25. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was a lady beggar named Lazarus covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abram's side. That's heaven. The rich man also died and was buried in Hades or hell where he was in torment. He looked up and saw Abram far away with Lazarus by his side. So anyway, to make the long story short, Yung rich man, na walang pakialam sa mahirap, na impyerno po siya. Yun ang mahirap, na sa kanyang pagkamahirap, lumapit siya kay Lord, na langit siya. Okay? I tell you, if you're serious in understanding the Bible and the heart of God, you have to think, bakit? <laughs> pwede pala, yung pera lang, may impyerno tayo. Oo, pwede kasi proof yan na hindi mo talaga kilala si Lord. Yun ang ebidensya. <laughs> yan ang ebidensya na wala kang relationship kay God. Kasi hindi ka muna magbigay. Si God mapagbigay. Amen? E kung buhay ka, then dapat kapareho ka ni Lord, si Lord mapagbigay. Amen? Proverbs 21.13 Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. Okay, not, uh, that's a kind of a sobering thing. God will bless those who help the poor and needy in society and in the church. 
So, hindi si Lord Hawi pag dito nagbibigay, pero pag nagbibigay tayo, my blessing. Amen? Sinang gusto ng blessing? Amen? Magbigay po tayo. Proverbs 28, 27. He who gives to the poor, we lack nothing, but he who closes his eyes to them, receives many curses. Blessed is he who considers the poor, the Lord will rescue him in time of trouble. And then Acts 10, 4, Cornelius stared at him in fear. But is it Lord? He asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. So pahingan mo ha? Si Cornelius po, na-answer ang prayer niya because... Hindi lang siya nagpe-pray, nagbibigay siya sa mga mahihirap. Can we show the verse again? Okay? So siya po ay tumutulong sa mahihirap. Prayers and gifts to the poor. Tanong, bakit Lord? Bakit din sagot ang mga prayer ko? Kasi puro laway lang eh. <laughs> walang, pre, walang proof na talagang love mo si Lord. Love God, love people. Love God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You want your prayers to be answered? Do something. Help the poor. Amen. Matthew 25, 34 onwards, tells us of the blessings of God for those who follow Him and obey Him. All right, let us help the poor and needy while we enjoy life. Marami pa tayong pwede pag-usapan, but we don't have much time. This is a shortened service for the sake of the encounter, okay? But we have enough time, but ato lang a shortcut, okay? Let us help the poor and needy while we enjoy life. There, there is a document called the Lausanne Covenant. The Lausanne Covenant is one of the most important documents in made in a modern Christianity. Okay? Kung ikaw ay Bible believing, this applies to you. Parang, not really, but with a weight, like a catechism for the Catholics, for example, or the Orthodox. Parang gano, not really, but something like that. It has a force or an authority. The Lausanne Covenant says, those of us who live in affluent circumstances, mga medyo abundance atong kinabuhi, accept our duty, say duty, to develop a simple lifestyle in order to contribute more generously to both relief and evangelism. Ibig sabihin, medyo, konting tipid-tipid naman. Iwas-iwas naman sa mga excessive at mga useless na mga gaso para makatulong tayo sa mga taong may pangailangan. Amen? It is the Lord's will that we do that. Sabi nga ni Charles Birch, the rich must live more simply so that the poor may simply live para mabuhay lang iba. Sana po we can live simpler uh, sa atin po mga buhay. Alam niyo po, we can make adjustments. We can be happy without those things. Ako po ay, uh, by the grace of God and, and, and so many others, you know, so for example, ako, I, don't, I don't use an expensive phone. I use mid-range phones. 22,000 na phone. I don't buy the 60,000 uh, na, na, na mga kwan. But maganda naman. Okay na rin, okay? So yung mga ganong mga bagay, yung kami ni Pastor Leo, we have never, everybody can verify that, we have never bought a brand new car. All of our cars that we have bought are second hand. Natry na namin mga surplus cars, Kia, Kia Post Portage, Hyundai Starex, at that time na uso yung Kia Pride ba yun? Maraming taxi ganon yun na kotse namin. Okay lang. At that time, it was good. Now, it's better. It's Montero, but it's still second hand. Okay? Now, if you, again, please, if you want to buy a brand new one and you can afford it, go for it. All I'm saying is, mag, mag, mag-iwan ka naman ng konting pera para may babigay ka sa iba, hindi mo kinagamit lahat for yourself. Amen. In history, we, see, we read this. So Eusebius, a uh, 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 historian in the, first, uh, in the earlier centuries, uh, A.D., uh, sabi niya that many of the people, including, for example, the, the godless uh, Roman emperor, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Julian. Sabi niya, sabi niya, grabe yung mga Christians. Uh, sabi niya, when it came about that the poor were neglected and overlooked by the pagan priests, then I think that these impious Galileans, referring to the Christians, uh, uh, observed this fact and devoted themselves to philanthropy. They support not only their poor, but ours as well. Kahit yung mga hindi kasama sa mga Christian circles, tinutulungan nila. So may we help, may we give. First Timothy 6.17, Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant or to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them, say command them. To, be, to, be, to do good, to be rich in good deeds, to be generous and willing to share. Dapat ako, willing to share tayo. Pakisakabi sa labi mo, willing to share. Acts 20, 35. In everything I did, I showed you by this kind of hard work, we must help to be remembering the words the Lord Jesus Himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Sabi ni Jesus, don't forget the weak. Yung mga hindi nila kaya yung pakainin sa sarili, they cannot help themselves. Don't forget them. And Jesus said, it is more blessed to give 
than to receive. Sa atin, ay, <laughs> anong klaseng philosophy naman yung pastor? <laughs> Di ba mas blessed kung ikaw ang binibigyan? No, no. Sabi niya, mas blessed kung ikaw ang nagbibigay. Now, there was, there, there was a song, there is a song that was written many years ago by, by, a, by a lover of God. His name is Keith Green. And nung ginawa nito, 1982 pa, but it's very powerful. So we made a video using that song. Uh, and I pray that as we watch this, uh, the Lord will speak to us. The video is entitled, or the song uh, with the video is entitled, A Billion Starving People. Maybe not, some are not really starving, but really in terms of the absolute figures, but they are really, really needy and hungry. And if you look at the news, you just Google that, you see that desperate need uh, of people in the world. So many people. Okay, so let's watch this. And may the Lord bless us a billion starving people. May we not be selfish, lavish Christians in an age of hunger and great needs. May we learn to enjoy life, yes, okay, but learn to share. 
And ang application po natin ito, of course, primarily on your personal and family level. Matutuo tayong magbigay sa mga nangailangan. Pag may nakita tayong need, let's do something, okay? Let's share something. And I know sometimes ayaw nating maloko, baka scam ito, whatever. Pero no, let's just learn to flow and trust God and just share, just release the money and let the Lord just use you, okay? Yan ang primary, okay? So sign up po in the coming days, weeks, months, and years pag may alam tayong need, both here, sa parking, may nag-beg dyan, or anywhere, you, you know, uh, then let's give and share. And then on a corporate level, baka sa live group nyo, and as a church, then let's help, let's give. Alam nyo, as a church, we don't, we don't really announce it all, but we've given, for example, when Russia began to attack Ukraine, we gave to an orphanage in Ukraine, near Kiev. Tubulang o tayo financially. At least, I think more than once. Noong time nagkagrabing problema sa Rohingya, sa border ng Bangladesh, we gave money. In fact, we went to Kuala Lumpur. Many of them went to Kuala Lumpur. We went there for the Rohingyans and the Afghans kasi yung that time, grabe rin yung kwan. And we gave to at least two foundations. One of them, I think more than once, we gave money. We sent money. And we brought money when we went there. Okay? But anyway, anong level... Bahala na si Lord, basta yung ni mag-respond tayo. Amen? So, i-activate natin. Tapos naman, activate natin. Amen? And meron tayong idea, uh, suggested by Pastor Loya, really good. On December 17, wala pa itong details, it is just an idea, magkaroon tayo ng give love on Christmas. Okay? Na uh, in, the, in the church, we'll have multiple locations, sabay-sabay. We'll reach out sa ating daughter church outreaches, sabay-sabay on that day, Saturday yan, December 17, mag-reach out tayo, give love on Christmas. The idea is, meron tayong gawin para makatulong sa iba kasi po, we are blessed to be a blessing. So, na hindi tayo mga fat, selfish, over-entertained, you know, over, over, yung mga, basta mga Christians na sobrang, Sobrang tataba natin, spiritually, physically, ang ating bank account sobrang tataba, pero ang iba sobrang hirap. May the Lord use us to reach out to others. May the Lord make us instruments of His blessing. Amen? Amen. Tumayo po tayong lahat and let's come before the Lord in prayer. Those joining us online, pray with us as well. Can we close our eyes, raise our hands, and begin to pray? Come on, let's all do that. Close our eyes, raise our hands, and let's begin to pray. Father in heaven, thank you, Lord God, for reminding us today. And Lord, with Lord as much honesty that we can, Lord God, we pray, Lord, forgive us, God. Patawarin mo kami, Lord. Patawarin mi kami, Lord, na, Lord, naging selfish kami, Lord. Hindi kami nag-share sa iba. Patawarin mo kami, Lord, na nandiyan na yung need. Nandiyan na tao na ngailangan. O alam na namin, we refuse and we make excuses. We want to justify ourselves, Lord God. Who is my neighbor? Sino pa talaga may pangailangan? Lord, forgive us. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God. We pray, Lord, forgive us, God. Patawarin mo kami, Lord. Today, Lord God, we want, to, we want to change. Come on, tell the Lord, God, I want to change. I want to change, God. Right now, just tell the Lord, Lord, I want to act, God. Actionan ko na ito, Lord. Puro lang ko laway. Puro lang ko religion, God. Right now, I want to act. I want to do something. Come on, tell the Lord, God, I want to do something. Help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, God. Lord, I begin to give. Personal, family, life group, church. Lord, we will give. We will share our blessings. We'll enjoy life. We'll travel. We'll buy things we enjoy. We'll eat what we enjoy. We'll wear what we like. We'll drive the car we like. But we will share our blessings to others. So help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Salamat, Lord. Come on, just pray to the Lord. But right now, I want to talk to those who have not just surrendered their lives to God. Kung ikaw yun, you're here on site or you're joining us online, you've not yet given your life to God. Give your life to God today. Jesus died for you so you can be saved. Would you surrender your life to God? Will you tell Him today, Jesus, I receive you into my life. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I want to follow you. You love me enough to give your life for me. I want to say yes to your call. I want to give my life to you. I want to surrender my life to you. Friends, this is the most important thing. Okay, before all of the giving of money, you surrender ng buhay natin, the giving of our life to the Lord, it is the most important thing. Come and give your life to God. Jesus, we surrender to you. Jesus, we trust you. Come into our lives, take over our lives. Let your will be done sa aming mga buhay. Thank you, Lord.